Today, I decided to seek out traditional Irish fare, trolling the streets until I stumbled upon this. Robin Hood's restaurant. They've got a gift shop next door, a deli inside, an Irish blessing. I sat at the bar, enjoyed some of the beautiful mirrored artwork. I ordered the most traditional of traditional, corned beef and cabbage. Okay, so right off the bat, I gotta say, there are some beautiful smells coming out of this bag. Oh, it's sweating. The styrofoam is sweating. Let's take a peek. Booyah. Oh, yes. You wanna talk about hearty heaven. I mean, look at this fare. Steamed potato, boiled carrots, a pile of meat on top of the cabbage. That's the main event. And over here, some other interesting unknown side dish. Can't wait to taste it. Right into the action, I gotta try some of this corned beef. Thinly sliced down the gullet. Let's check it out. Mmm, oh my. Mmm, this is juicy. This is yummy. Mmm, not too much salt. Now to balance it out, big bite of cabbage. Mmm, the cabbage has zero salt. A juicy freshness to it, just a tiny bit of bite. I'm gonna now try this with the corned beef and I'm gonna get a bite of both. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Mm. So, the corned beef is divine. There's zero fat that I've come across. Not even a morsel. You almost always get a chewy piece of rubber in there somewhere. You gotta spit aside. All of this stuff, it's meat. Mm. I'm sucking the juice out of the meat. Wow. Mm. So it's a nice potato, nice and soft, lightly salted. This is a dish that very oftentimes everything is just kind of lost in the salt. This dish, the chef is not hiding behind the salt. Mmm, that's what a potato out of a garden grown in the earth should taste like. The beef is absolutely dripping, just dripping off succulent juice and flavor. Hell yeah, steamed carrots or something. It's perfect, they're not mushy, and they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Yum, we got some kind of little white sauce here, I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna pop the top on this thing. Oh, it's some kind of horseradish. Oh, one of life's great pleasures, the intoxicating fumes. Your hair stands up, the goose bumps start crawling across your skin in the best possible way. We gotta give the corned beef all of the accessories provided, absolutely smothering it, wrapping up an ample amount of sauce, as you can see, a horseradish sauce in the corned beef and scarfing that down. Mmm, my God, oh my God. Mmm, 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 mmm. Horseradish going up my nose a little bit. I'm sweating, it's absolutely wet with pleasure. Now I'm gonna eat the mystery item. I'm not sure what this is. Take a whip first. Fairly neutral smell. I can't identify anything in this. Let's give it a go. Oh my. Oh my, I'm freaking melting here. I'm gonna go back to Robin Hood's and give the chef a kiss. This is the most delicious stuff I've ever tasted Mm, it tastes like a mushroom gravy. Thin, semi-transparent, you can see into it a little bit. It just has this beautiful color. There's no lumps in it. We take a piece of the corned beef, stack juicy greens on top, wrap them up. Look at that, nice little pocket, dripping yumminess. Mmm, hell This is what I'm talking about. This is by far the best meal of 2024 that I've eaten out of the home. So the chef at Robin Hood is an absolute master, I'm gonna say.